the sky is falling. You ever seen Chicken Little where the sky is falling? He causes a great commotion because he thinks the sky is falling and something just fell on his head. Well, imagine the commotion that Noah stirred up. Imagine his friend comes around. Now, remember, building the ark took him about 100 years. And so a friend comes up, hey, Noah, what are you doing? I'm building an ark. Well, really? Why? Because it's going to rain. What's rain? Remember, when Noah built the ark, it had never rained before. The Bible says that Noah was warned by God of things that hadn't been seen, and so he moved with holy fear and prepared an ark. Never rained before, and it's going to rain, so Noah's building an ark. And then Noah's in a very uh, sinful and perverse world. Imagine what that was like. And the Bible says that by building the ark, he condemned the world. You and I are much like Noah. We live in an incredibly sinful world. There, t there is temptation all over the place for you and I. And we're called to spread God's word and be light in a world of darkness, just as Noah was. We're to be the light shining on the darkness, spreading God's word to a lost and dying world. And sometimes, just telling that story is going to be a little condemning for them. But we still have to tell it. Remember, when the cop stops you and he writes the ticket for speeding, look at him and go, hey, you're judging me. Same thing. He's just telling you what happened. And when we share God's word with someone, let God's word do the job. Let God's word be the light. Let it be the salt. Remember I said yesterday, don't be, don't be deceived into thinking that living by faith has always been easy because it's not. It probably wasn't easy for Noah to build an ark and know that their people are going to die. Matter of fact, the whole world is going to die except for eight people because of what he did. Go back and read Genesis chapter 5. Do the math. Methuselah was his grandfather. He died in the flood. Do the math. It'll, you'll, you'll see it work out. You and I are going to share a story that it's not always going to be well received. But you know, Jesus when he was on earth, was not always well received either. Take courage. Be salt. Be light to a lost and dying world. Like Noah, do as God has told you to do. You may think it's crazy, but do what God has told you to do. Want to read the whole devotional? Go to www.practicaldevotional.com and we'll see you tomorrow.